Because what we find is that um, articulation uh, sounds different. You know, people uh, notate it differently for strings than they do for winds. So, you know, mm -hmm. and a keyboard articulation is quite different than what a woodwind quintet would sound like. So, mm. okay. can I ask why it's called orange? Um, I'm doing this painting right now, and my experience painting has been what the pain, the song's about, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you just said would be very helpful in, in the actual music. Right, program those. So, yeah. while in, in here you say, you know, paint splatters here or something like that. Or, it, yeah. Yeah. Or something <laughs> like agitato. Or agitato. Those, those words are really <laughs> no, it, expressive and good, or dolce, or legato, or... Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. One thing that I like that you did, which, which is very nice, you put moderato, and then you put quarter note equals C100. So, that gives us an... We, some flexibility. So if we if we want to do it at 112, or if we want to do it at 96, rather than one number, which is not necessarily, mm -hmm. you know, it's bringing nice. a piece to life, it's good to have a little flexibility. Uh, it, it's fantastic. I mean, the music is very ethereal and has this beautiful little sound to it. It's very simple, regal. but uh, regal, but very simple and and, and lovely. What grade are you on? Eighth. Eighth grade. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, you know what I really like. I really like the modulation. It's all of a sudden, oh wow! Yeah. And it was a, you know, it purity perks everything up. When we read it, we thought, oh, we wonder how old she is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's, let's try it at, at the brighter tempo. And okay. See mm -hmm. what okay. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing makes us happier than see handwritten, you know, well handwritten parts because we know the page turns work. We know what there's going to be cues. We we know that basically everything's been proved because by a human eye looking at when you actually right. have to write it down, you see the next page turn. You're thinking, well, wait a minute, can they actually do this? Right. When they start writing at the top, yeah. the person writing is going to do it. A, 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 the programs don't necessarily do that. What, what makes wind and brass players unique from cast or string players or whatever is the fact that you have to program the breathing into the music. And in fact, um, I, I've, I've always told people you should look at it as an opportunity. You know, many times, and I think if maybe if you've noticed in some of the things we're doing, we'll actually make the breath part of the music. You know, singers don't think about this. They do it naturally. Um, where we tend to find that when pianists or string players write us pieces, it, it never occurs to them until after they hear it, they're like, Oh my God! They can't even they can't even breathe. They, 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 and, and and the first time it occurs to them is when they hear it being played. And they're thinking, "What was I thinking?" The problem with oboe is that you're taking in a real big breath in order to support the sound, but the oboe player has to exhale before they inhale, unlike all the others, which can expel all the air while they're playing. 
the, their lung capacity has only been used halfway, let's say. Then they take in a new breath. Now they get half fresh air, they got half really stale air. And then they do the same thing. Now they got half really, really stale air. And what happens is you suffer from oxygen deprivation. Right, mm -hmm. so you lose concentration stuff. So right. you may have noticed that we kind of got faster before it was marked. It's, 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 just, uh, it it's the kind of thing that just really is painful. Yeah, I, I finish at the end, it feels like someone just punched me in the mouth. So. I go from 44? Yeah, I know. Without really a, a break. And, and, the, and, and you know what? You again, don't, if, you're, if you're a string quartet, you don't care. It engenders horrible thoughts about what we do to the composer. We found the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you have five instruments up here, so you use your resources and, and, and pace it, because the resources you have up here, you're going to get diminishing returns later on. Now, right. Here you have this organ with certain limitations within the instrument, but there are so many colors, and, and a great organist can pull together great <coughs> combinations of stops which adds a lot of interest. You have that here with five different instruments. So... We understand what you're trying to do through the whole yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. But experiment with the instruments a little bit more. Yeah. Learn a little bit more about how the instruments work. And you can get some bass and some heaviness uh, without playing the entire, the entire time. Yeah, again, again, the compositional device here is, is very good yeah. and very sound. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, what we're really picking out here is the orchestration. We, we, we get the whole idea the of the Pasakalia and it's going through and we see how it's building and we see how it resolves and it's, you know, it's spot on.